Hi there, it's Trish from trishnewry.com, PDF Sewing Patterns. I thought I'd do a very quick tutorial on how to change a sewing machine needle. So this is for um, aimed at beginners, just to give you an overview. So the machine I'm sewing with today is a Brother SE400, but you'll find this is pretty universal between machines. The first thing you need to do for safety is make sure your machine is turned off. Just makes it a little bit safer for everything involved. When you're ready, drop the presser foot out. It's just a little button on the back, you press it, and the presser foot will take will come out, and it just makes it so much easier. Now, with needles, um, you might not need it, but generally there's a screwdriver that comes with your machine. What we're going to do is just put it into this little slot here. Now, you can use a coin if you prefer it, and turn that towards you. As you turn that towards you, what happens is the needle will come out. And you can often just do that by hand. Looking at the needle, the needle has a flat side to it. And when we insert the new needle, the flat side always goes towards the back. So make sure the needle you're putting in um, is the right needle for your project. So your uh, manual will tell you which is the correct needle. But if you're sewing wovens, generally a sharps needle, and if you're sewing um, knits, you're going to need a ball needle um, or a stretch jersey needle. Um, it'll really depend. Um, and the difference is ball needles will um, push the fibers apart in your knit fabrics, and it won't cause any runs or ladders as you're sewing, whereas a sharps needle will pierce the fibers, and if you're sewing a knit, that will happen. So when you get your new needle, Often the best thing to do is just to remove the thread out of the way. It can often be annoying. What I like to do is hold the needle so the flat is towards the back and then I drop the point of it into the hole and I lift it straight up into the slot. Now I use my fingernail to push it up. It's not a good idea. Push it up as far as it will go and then tighten that screw by pushing it clockwise and if you have or you want to make it tighter if you have a screwdriver tighten that up a little bit more or as I said earlier you could use a coin and just make sure that's in the right place pop your foot back in now we need to thread the needle so go ahead and thread your machine Now you'll know that the needle's in the correct position if the automatic needle threader works. So the best thing to do is turn your machine on. Make sure the needle is in the uppermost position. Then use your needle threader. And if it threads the needle, you know it's correct. And just one more thing, you should be changing your needle before every new sewing project. So thanks for joining me, I hope you enjoy the video, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you again soon.